why anybody would like to adjust the tension on the sticks. After all, the radios come with the usually nicely set up stick self-centering and it is fine. There are at least a few good reasons and the reason and the most important reason actually is just to fly better because yes, the tension, the self-centering force on the stick depends the sides quite a lot on your flying experience and even on the smoothness because if if the sticks are too loose and you do not have to put a lot of force to move stick one to a side it's easy to do a cross tack on the axis for example i want to roll right but because there is very little tension on the pitch instead of only rolling to the right i'm also slightly moving pitch in one direction and as a result there is a tumble in the air on the other hand when the tension is too high then when you are going from deflection from one side to the other side in the middle there will be this bump that will forcefully stop your fingers during the movement. So instead of going rotating one way to rotating the other way, there will be this stop in the center instead of the smooth transition from one direction to the other direction. And it's very visible, for example, on the yaw axis. When your yaw axis, your stick is uh, too loose, that when you operate the throttle, you usually also will be doing some kind of the slight twitching on the yaw, which doesn't really look good on the radio. So it's really, really, really important to adjust the stick tension, the spring inside of the gimbals, to adjust your flying style, your needs, and well, your expectations from the radio. Because trust me, there really can be a huge difference in the flight between experience between the correctly set up tension on the sticks and just some random usually too loose or too tight well those are only two options tension on the sticks so now let's take a look on how to adjust the sticks your gimbals or usually almost any radio out there at least any decent radio out there but we will take a look using the example of the Radio Master TX16 because this is the radio I have right now on hand at hand so I'm just using this because of that. So uh, let me change the camera position. If your radio has a possibility to adjust the tension, the springs on the gimbal, then the adjustments unfortunately are hidden inside of the, of the case. Uh, please be warned that depending on the type of the radio, you might lose your warranty by opening the radio. I don't care about the warranty that much, so I'm just opening mine for the end time, just to show you where to look for the adjustments for the tension of the springs. I already removed almost all the screws from my Radio Master TX16, so my the back just came off. And if you will look closely at the gimbals, we will take a look at the roll pitch gimbal over here. Let's focus, focus, focus. Okay, it focus. The mechanism consists of the arm for each axis. So we have one arm that moves up when I move on the roll, you see? And we have one arm that moves up if I move on the on the pitch. This arm provides the, the tension of the stick. It provides the centering on the stick. And each arm has a spring. You see here there should be visible a spring that prov and the tension, the, the pre Pretension, is this even a word, <laughs> of the springs decide how loose the gimbal is and how much force it's required to move it and how eagerly it will come to the center position. To adjust this, it's super simple. All you need is you need a screwdriver and if you look closely here, uh, just, just close to the the spring itself there should be a hole and there should be a head of the screw that provides the tension for the for the spring so if you put a screwdriver in my case this is hex 1.5 millimeter if i put a screwdriver and I, if i will start turning the 
screwdriver clockwise, then I will increase the tension on the spring so there will be a higher load, uh, the more force will be required to move the the stick. If I will move it counterclockwise, then the stick will be looser and uh, there will be less centering and less force required to move the stick. Simple, super simple, no, no higher science. Just remember, clockwise means more force, more tension on the spring. Counterclockwise means less tension, less force on the spring and on the stick. Oh, while we are here, let's take a look also at the at the second gimbal, the one that is used for the throttle. Uh, you see those two flat springs over here. One of those springs provides the constant load on the on the throttle uh, throttle stick. Let's call it uh, a drag. This is, a, this is a drag. Yes, this is a drag. And you can, uh, if you will, uh, tighten the screw that is connected to this flat spring, then there will be more drag, more force required to move the throttle. And the second spring over here, this provides a ratchet. I will not enable the ratchet right now, but if you, uh, I will just add the put, push it with my finger. See, there is a ratchet. If I loosen the screw, then there is no ratchet on the on the throttle stick. The final part is of course the setting the springs and the gimbals to the tension that you expect it from. And to be honest, at least for me, it's never an easy process because um, the feeling of the sticks is a completely different when you are playing with your radio on your workbench and just screwing and unscrewing those screws to change the tension on the spring but it's completely different during the flight when you have your goggles on your on your eyes and you cannot like do it in the controllable um, environment inside of your of your workbench so my advice make adjustment very small and after a flight or a two decide do you want slightly more tension or less tension and always observe the crosstack of the axis if during the for example during the pitch maneuver are you slightly touching the roll or especially on the yaw if you're moving the throttle if during the throttle movement you are slightly applying uh, yaw to one side if this is happening that means your sticks are currently probably too loose you should increase the tension on the springs slightly to eliminate that in on the other hand you feel that you are fighting with the sticks and this is what i described when you are going from one side to the other you feel there is stop forced by the stick then yeah probably you have too much tension on the stick and you should slightly lower the uh, the tension of the springs and after a few tries yes you should find your perfect tune for your gimbals not only we are tuning pids not only we are tuning filters now we are also tuning gimbals isn't this too much Okay, and with that happy accent, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.